Stetson so white and a pearl handled gun swinging on his side. Texas John Slaughter made them do what they honor, cause if they didn't, they died. This is a collector's item from the Santa Ana gun room. It's one of the rarest guns in existence the Walker Colt. It was named after Captain Sam Walker of the Texas Rangers, who tested the original model and suggested a number of improvements, including this trigger guard. Originally, the Rangers' only weapons were long rifles like this or heavy single-shot horse pistols like this. Neither weapon was very effective for men who did most of their fighting on galloping horses. Indeed, the history of the Rangers might have been different, but for the invention of the revolver. As a matter of fact, it was the Rangers who gave it the name we know it by today, the Six Shooter. By 1870, the Six Gun and the White Stetson Hat were part of every Ranger's equipment, which led to a slight misunderstanding when John Slaughter rode into Frio Town one day. His turned up white Stetson and Pearl and the gun were known both far and wide. For Texas John Slaughter men do what they ought or cause if they didn't they died. So I made up my mind to be in the ranges and then the ranges I'm gonna be. What makes you so sure? Because I already got me a white hat, that's why. Marry me now, Eddie. No. Why? Why not? Because when we get married, I don't intend to share you with anyone. Not even the Texas Rangers. The Rangers that she wore right well Make an outlaw's go and hide For Texas John Slaughter made them do what they ought to Cause if they didn't, they died here is another adventure based on the life and exploits of our true hero of the West, John Slaughter. It's titled, Killers from Kansas. Picking up the payroll. There's the easiest assignment in the world. What do you mean, Mac? Assignment it. You get to be an old timer like me and they give you all the safe, easy things to do. <laughs> Oh, Willie. Hi, Mac. Get off there already? In a few minutes. Have a seat. Sure. Yes? We have an appointment with the president. Mr. Winslow and Mr. Brady? That's right. Come right this way. He's expecting you. Big shots. Yeah. You know, I once had money in the bank, saving it for my old age. Then I joined the Rangers. People said to me, Sonny, you stay with that outfit and you won't live to be old. So I spent that money. Oh, what's the matter with you? Huh? You look as though something's bothering you. Is there anything different about this place today? No. You're not getting that neck itch again. Oh, I surely am. Hands over your heads. Over against the wall. That means everybody. I'll take that. He said everybody. All right, open the cash drawer. Well, let's see how you and your buddy look against the wall. Come on, get over against the wall. Come on, 
Jerry can tell a hand. Those two white hats are Texas Rangers. Oh? Go ahead, help them. Rangers, huh? Is that a fact? Look, I'm gonna kill you anyway, so there's no need to be bashful. How many times have I told you no silver? It's too heavy. He really means to kill us, laddie. There's no sense waiting for it. Good Indian is a dead one. That goes for rangers, too. Wait a minute. That one belongs to me. Such an easy job after all. Stay a little better. How soon before I can go back to active duty? Yeah. Two weeks, perhaps three. Three weeks? You've got to make it sooner than that, Doc. Well, I'm giving you a vacation. Why complain? I didn't join the Rangers for any vacation. What's he mad about? The gang that wounded him killed a good friend of his. He won't have any peace till they're caught. Is that why you're so restless? Well, my friend, I admire your resolution. But your injury was severe. I forbid you to leave this room for two weeks. I'll have Captain Cooper put it in the form of an order. Goodbye, Eddie. Goodbye. Are you... I suppose you agree with him. About your resting for two weeks, yes. But not the other part. What do you mean? The way you want revenge. He admired it. I don't. Go on. You joined the Rangers because you thought they'd bring law to this territory. And from the day you joined, you've been involved in an endless round of violence and killing. And I don't see any more law around here than I did before. What's the point you're trying to make, Addie? The point is that I'm sick of it. I'm sick of violence and sick of killing. But there must be some other way. Well, there isn't any other way. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring this up until you were better. I'll see you tomorrow. Captain? Well, didn't expect to see you for another week. I was released this morning. Doctor says I'm fit for active duty. He did not. He restricted you to limited duty. I just talked to him. Oh. Well, what sort of limited duty do you have in mind? <laughs> well, let's see. I'll send you along as one of the guys in the first of the month stays at Pleasanton. Nothing ever happens on that run. That's why I'm assigning you to it. Was well, that the only limited duty you got? No, there's one other job. What's that? Cleaning the stable. Thanks. 
I'll take the stagecoach run. Kind of thought you would. Hey, Captain. Any word about that bunch that McGregor and I ran into? Yes, they've pulled two other jobs in the past ten days. How do you know it was them? The woman was spotted in both places. Well, funny nobody told me about it. The doctor thought your blood pressure was high enough. They got away with 12,000 in Green City and over 15,000 in Dusty Springs. They killed two men in Green City and one in Dusty Springs for no reason. The same way they killed McGregor. Yes. And you still want to send me along on this limited duty run? I have to. Captain, I can identify that bunch. I'm sorry, John. It's doctor's orders. Yeah, that doctor. Tylerville, Green City, Dusty Springs. Every job is further south. That's right. What do you make of it? At this point, your guess is as good as mine. You got no lead on them at all? No. They could be anywhere in this area. Mr. and Mrs. Lacey of Abilene, Kansas. That's right. Welcome to Montgomery. Thank you. You're a long way from home, Mr. Lacey. Business or pleasure? A uh, little of both. And what sort of accommodations would you like? The best you have. Uh, we're on our honeymoon. I see. Well, it so happens the uh, bridal suite is available. We'll have that. Show Mr. and Mrs. Lacey to the bridal suite? Yes, sir. I hope you enjoy your stay with us. I'm sure we will. Will there be anything else, sir? No. Thank you, sir. Well, how was I this time? Fine, except for one thing. What's that? You forgot to carry me over the threshold. Ah. I'm getting tired of bridal suites. Get something different the next town. Look, the bridal suite's the safest place for us. I said get something different. All right. You, uh, you better unpack. The boys will be here in an hour. All right. Did you take a good look at the bank as we went by? Yes. What'd you think? Looks like a cinch. <laughs> Al. Al, you must be blind. What do you mean? Well, they're doing repair work at the other end of Main Street. What about it? Well, that means there's only one way out of town. Now, you block that up and uh, we'd be trapped. Well, how are we going to pull the job? We don't. What am I going to tell the boys? I'll tell you what to tell them. Al. Huh? Come here. What do you want? Come here. You know, it's a good thing you're so handsome. Yeah? Why is that? Because you're not very bright. You're leaving in the morning? Yep. What's your assignment? Escorting the stage to Pleasanton. It's the first of the month. They always carry a lot of gold and range of supply of protection. Mm. What's the matter? Nothing. Oh, now, come on, honey. I know you. Something's wrong. Look, if it's the assignment, it's just routine. No, it's not the assignment. Well, then what is it? Come on, now, what is it? Do you remember the day at the hospital when I exploded at you? <laughs> if that's all it is, believe me, it's forgotten. Yes, I know. That's what's wrong. I meant every word I said that day. I can't stand any more bloodshed now. I just can't. A man has to fight if he's going to live in this part of the country. Then let's go someplace else. You can start a ranch someplace else. I don't want to start a ranch someplace else. I want to live here. I want my ranch here. I'm not going to be driven off by a pack of thieves and murderers. And I don't want any more violence. Hmm? Where does that leave us? I don't know. I'll think about it while you're gone.
you do that. I'll think about it, too. Bye, Eddie. So then, we're not going to touch the bank in this town, huh? Nope. I still don't see why. I told you why. There's only one way out of town, and it's too risky. What is our next move, then? I haven't decided yet. What's the matter? Well, it seems like this is as good a time as any. I guess so. We've knocked off three banks in the past four weeks. Each job takes us farther south. We figure that's no accident. We figure you have some big plans in mind. And we want to know what they are. I see. Do you boys ever hear of Dan Trask? Sure. Everyone has. What do you know about him? He's got a big place south of the border. Anybody can hide out there for a price. That's right. And it's foolproof. Now, the only law in this whole area are the Texas Rangers. And the federal government has forbidden them to cross the Rio Grande for any reason. What's that got to do with us? Trask invited us to hole up there. Now, he's got some big ideas, but he needs men to match them. When do we join him? We'll start for the border in the morning. All right, boys, that's all for now. So we're starting for the border in the morning. What's the matter? Since when do you give orders? Well, they asked me a question. I had to say something. Well, you said the wrong thing. We're not starting for the border in the morning. When I'm eating Trask, we have $50,000. That means one more good job. What do we need $50,000 for? Because when we meet Trask, I want it to be on equal terms. I don't want us going down there like a bunch of beggars. All right, we'll pull another job. <laughs> you bet we will. What are you doing? What are you doing? What'd you do that for? Because I felt like it. You'll have everybody in the hotel up here. Are you telling them it was an accident? You want to know something? I think you're nuts. Oh, Al, don't get so excited. It could have been worse. I could have shot you. <laughs> think how hard that would be to explain. Nice day for a ride. That's about all it is good for. Are you still mad because the captain gave you an easy job? You bet I am. Well, cheer up. Maybe we'll run into a pack of wild Indians. Hey, driver, ever have any trouble on this run? Not since you rangers started traveling with us. Before that, we had nothing but trouble. Well, keep your fingers crossed. Trouble goes to this fellow like bees go to honey. Driver, do you make any stops? Kiss one. Whereabouts? Montgomery. Montgomery, huh? Maybe you both better keep your fingers crossed. Hey, isn't this the first of the month? Yep. That stage doesn't have any rangers on it. Yeah, you're right. They must be feeling lucky. What's so special about that stage? Well, the first of every month, it carries a payload from the Fremont mine. Over $30,000. Sure is a lot of money to leave unprotected. Sure is. See you later. What's the next job gonna be? I haven't decided yet. Boys are tired of waiting. Oh, wow, that's too bad. 
I'm getting pretty tired myself. Huh. Well, why don't you leave, honey? Maybe I'll do that one of these days. <laughs> I doubt that. Who's there? Reed. Look, I told you not to come here unless I sent for you. I ran into something that could be big. What? A stagecoach going to Pleasanton just pulled in. What's so big about that? It's carrying a gold shipment. Usually there's a range of guard, but today the driver's all along. How do you know? I was talking to some of the townspeople. Did they say how much the shipment was? Over $30,000. All right, we'll meet you at your place right away. the coach. Go get it, Tim. Reach. Go on much farther. Hey, look. Reed, take care of it.
sign of Reed. What about the Ranger? No sign of him either. Well, what are we going to do? Well, we can't go far with him like this. Got to find a place to hold up. I saw a ranch down there. OK. Let's go. Give me a hand with him. Mr. Harris and his daughter live here. Where are they? Away. Mr. Harris is up north. Miss Harris is in town for the afternoon. Okay, we'll stay here. Get the horses behind the barn. Somebody help him into the house. You're not going in that house. Why not? Because I won't let you. Why'd you do that? Saves us trouble. Get rid of him. I said get rid of him. All right, what about the girl who lives here? <laughs> what about her? The old man says she's in town for the afternoon. That means she'll be coming back soon. Huh? That's her tough luck. Did you say that stagecoach was due at two? That's right. Well, it's after three now. Oh, they're off on this late. What's the matter? John and I had a quarrel before he left. He'll be here soon. You can patch it up then. Well, what could make a stagecoach an hour late? Sick horse, sick passenger, bad wheel, almost anything. Including a holdup. <laughs> You are a worrier. Yes, I guess so. Would I be too inquisitive if I asked what you and John quarreled about? No. As a matter of fact, it concerns you. I want him to leave the Rangers. Why? There's just too much killing. I see. That could be the stage now. Are you all right? For sure, I'm fine. What happened, Ben? We ran into some trouble outside Montgomery. Who killed those two? John got one, I got the other. He's just a boy. Eddie. Hey, Eddie, listen to me. Come here. Don't let go of me. Not until you let me explain. That's a young boy they're carrying away. You killed him. Now, what is there to explain? The reason that I killed him. Well, as far as I'm concerned, there is no reason. Now, where are you going? Home. Will you let me explain? You never had trouble on that run before. You never had John Slaughter on that run before. What do you mean? He talked me into riding inside the stage, so it looked like it wasn't guarded. In other words, he was fishing for trouble. And he caught it. <laughs> what do you do with a fellow like Slaughter? If I was you, I'd promote him. Sorry, sir. Come in. Well, here's a limited duty man now. Well, now, sir, I can explain. You I'm see... sure you can. And I'm sure it'd make a delightful story. But I just don't have time to listen. Ben tells me you recognize the gang that tried to rob the stage. It was the same bunch that killed McGregor. You sure? You bet I am. Tylersville. Green City. Dusty Springs. And now they turn up outside of Montgomery, which is even farther south. What's their aim? What's behind it? Well, we've got somebody here who can tell us. The prisoner you brought in? Yes, sir. You know the type. You won't get anything out of him. Let me talk to him. Alone. I won't tolerate any rough stuff. No, I won't lay a hand on him. All right, go ahead. All right, John. Hi, right, Bill. What do you want? 
the answers to a few questions. <laughs> You're wasting your time. Oh, how's that? I tell you, I was uh, jailed in Oklahoma once. There were four fellas, all bigger than you, who tried to make me talk. They couldn't do it. What makes you think you can? Because your bunch killed a friend of mine. Good friend. said put it on. What happens now? Now you either talk or draw. <laughs> You're joking. Am I? You got until I count three. One. Now hold on. That's not giving me much of a chance. You got a gun, I got a gun. And that's a lot better chance than my friend got. Guy! 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 You're wasting your breath. You can't do this. You're a ranger, you can't do this. I can't. You watch me. Two! All right. All right. Hey, Bill, open up. The Barco Gang, of course. They're well known throughout the Kansas Territory. The woman is their trademark. It's a gang from Kansas doing in Texas. Hey, did you hear the captain's question? I heard him. Then answer it. Look, mister, shall we take a little walk back to your cell? I only know what Parker told us. What was that? He said we we're going to cross the Rio Grande and join forces with a guy named Trask. Dan Trask? That's right. Barco said Trask had big plans and needed men. What were the big plans? I don't know. Sit down. I told you everything I know. All right, take him back. If Barco manages to cross the Rio Grande and ally his resources and men with Dan Trask's, they could create a combination too strong for us to deal with. And we'd really be in the soup. Right. Well, we're just going to have to stop Barco before he gets to the river. First, we got to find him. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Not with that wound. Let's go look for him, Captain. Sure. Where? Yeah. There's nothing to be afraid of. Who are you? Well, just say we're, uh, we're weary travelers. We're looking for a place to rest. <clears throat> no, you don't. What's this all about? It's like she said. We're just taking a little rest. Nice, huh? Yeah. Very nice. I don't see anything so great about her. Look how pale she is. 
Soft, it's jelly. If she ever gets caught in the rain, she's gonna melt. Where's Pete? Pete? Who's Pete? He's my hired hand. Is he the, uh, the elderly gent with the mustache? That's right. Where is he? <sighs> well, he sounds like the fellow I killed. You killed him? Mm-hmm. That's right. What for? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Must have been the mustache. Why are you... Let it go. You'd like to kill me, huh? All right. I'm gonna make it easy for you. All you have to do is pull the trigger. Go on. What are you waiting for? I can't do it. This is I figured. No nerve. It's not a matter of nerve. You still think she's so great? Suppose she'd pulled the trigger. But she didn't. Yeah, but suppose she had. Well, it really wouldn't have mattered. It's empty. <sighs> well, of course it's empty. But it was nice of you to worry. All right. I'll call you. What have you got? Queens. Kings. Well, I got four of them. Company's coming. Huh? Hey, it's a white hat. Ranger? Yeah. That's the one who shot me. Do you suppose he followed us here? I don't know, but I'm glad he did. Wait a minute. He wouldn't be riding in like that if he knew we were here? He doesn't know you're here. He's come to see me. See your boyfriend? Yes. You want to save his life as well as your own? All right, then let him in. Don't let on we're here. And get rid of him as fast as you can. All right. Now, wait a minute. It would be a lot easier to kill him. You want the rest of the rangers down on our necks? No. All right, then play it my way. Get away from those windows. OK. Hello, Addie. Hello. I bet you didn't expect to see me again today. No, I didn't. I'm sorry about that quarrel we had. Well, so am I. I thought maybe we could straighten things out if we talked some more. I, I don't want to talk anymore today. Well, how are we going to clear things up if we don't talk about them? I just don't want to talk anymore today. Now, look, Missy, I've had just about enough of your nonsense. We're going to settle this once and for all. I don't want to see you. Now, can't you understand that? I don't want to see you. Honey, what's the matter with you? I never saw you act this way before. Nothing's the matter. Do you want me to come back later? Is that it? No. Now, what do you want? I want you to go away. All right, I will. All right. All right. All right. If I did, I'd kill him. Wouldn't you know she'd have a ranger for a boyfriend? What's his name? You asked your question, honey. If something happened to you, he'd feel real bad. His name is Slaughter. John Slaughter. Uh-huh. Well, I hope we meet again. I thought Adeline was acting strange. When I saw that gray horse, it was Barco's, I'm sure of it. All right. I want the entire troop ready to move as soon as possible. Yes, sir. We'll wait until midnight. 
They all should be asleep by then. What about Adeline? What about her? You go charging in there, they'll label a killer. We'll do the best we can to prevent that. Well, thanks, Captain. Now look, John, it's natural for you to be concerned about Adeline, but try to understand my position. If Barkle gets away and hooks up with Trask, the life of every person in this area is in danger. I can't let that happen. I won't. We're going to attack. Will you give me a chance to get her out of the house? How will you do that? Well, I don't know, but I sure want to try. All right. You have until 12 o'clock. It's almost 10 minutes. All right. Good luck. Yeah, ben. Retrace. Serious. What time is it? Almost 12. You better go out and relieve Bell. One more hand. Maybe I will. I might win some of your money. you do. Now move. Move! It's awful quiet down there. Yeah, it's too quiet. Maybe we ought to move in now. No, no. We'll give him a few minutes more. Then he took my hand and he said, you haven't got a thing to worry about. <laughs> don't mind them, Mr. Slaughter. They don't appreciate romance. Yeah, now, wait a minute. If this was just romance, why didn't he use the front door? Bob's on guard outside. How come he didn't see him? I don't like this. We're getting out of here. What about him? I'll take care of Mr. Slaughter. Stop it! <laughs> Does somebody take that thing away from her before it goes off by accident? Don't come any closer. Go on. She's not going to shoot. I will shoot. I don't want to, but I will. Now, come on. Be a nice girl. I did 
did it once before, so I guess I can do it again. You fired both barrels. That gun is empty. Just try me and see. All right, now move. Where's the rest of them? Inside. Clay, take her away. How'd you do it? Don't ask me. Ask my partner here. She's the one that did it. Saved my life. Would you excuse me? I don't feel so good. Oh? Uh -huh. Excuse me. Are you feeling better? Yes. You know, I still hate violence. More now than I did before. But I see your point. Yeah. Maybe someday it'll be different. Mm. I hope so. Talk to me about something else. Mm. Like what? I don't know. Anything. Anything except what happened in there tonight. Well, let me see. Um, uh, should I tell you about the ranch we're going to have someday? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I figure it'll be not too big, about the size of the Dayton place. We start off with about, we'll say, 300 head of cattle. The house will be like that place you liked in Dallas so much. We'll have one bedroom. Later on, we can add another one. I think, I think five's a good-sized family. Maybe six. What do you think? Honey? Stetson and 